and it's time to decorate the living room. If you guys missed the first installment of the decorating Christmas decorating series on my channel, I started with my entryway and breezeway. Thank you to the ladies who gave me the name for that. I love that, the breezeway. So that I will link down below. Definitely go check it out um, because you'll be able to really see like how everything is coming together. Um, but I always have to start off with a movie. Whenever I start Christmas decorating, I have like my own little traditions. It's not really like Micah's thing. She's never really cared to decorate or do anything like that. Um, even as a small child, like it just like never, <laughs> for whatever reason, like struck her as like the most, like she had to do it. Um, so it's always been my task. And because of that, I like to have my own, you know, little traditions. So I always have to start off with a movie. Now, I mentioned this in the first decorating video of the entryway, and I mentioned how I do take several days to do this, so you're going to see me wearing several different um, outfits in this, so the first thing that I really wanted to tackle was the whole fluffing situation. So I had to get my tree out. Who remembers this tree? Um, or nobody actually remembers this tree, I don't even know what I'm saying. Nobody remembers this tree because it's brand new, but who remembers why? I had to get it. So there's that. Um, yeah, so I'm sitting here fluffing it. It's the most gorgeous tree I've ever had. I got it from Amazon. I will link it down below for you guys. I absolutely love it. Worth every penny. Um, and then, you know, like the next day, I do little bits here and there. Um, and this part I thought was so adorable with Loki. When I first got him last year so he was a puppy and it was his first christmas last year and he just loved being under the tree so i found it absolutely adorable that i think he completely remembered that and he tries to like go under there now and it's hilarious because he's ginormous now so anyways so i did that and then i wanted to go ahead on this one night i wanted to go ahead and kind of tackle the tv area so I went ahead and started adding my garland and this matches the whole breezeway situation so I really like that as I continue to decorate through the house everything's just kind of coming together um, so you can see here that like I'm watching home alone um, so definitely got to have my Christmas movies and yeah so originally this was actually not what I had planned um, I talk about this in the end when I give you guys like the tour of the space, but I did not have plans to bring back the same decor that I had last year, um, meaning these red bulbs, the green, and the navy. I, but plans change, so I brought them back. Now you see this little gold bell, I didn't like it there, so I ended up removing it, and I think it might actually go in my bedroom for my bedroom makeover. So I'm still sitting here trying to work out little things like removing these topiaries. Eventually you'll see that I also removed those big um, ornaments at the very end. I didn't like them there, I thought they were weird, so I ended up removing them as well. Now, here's where we get to the real quote unquote decorating. Here's me getting ready for it. So whenever I do have my official decorating day, meaning I'm gonna finish everything, this is the day I decorate the tree. I have to get in my full Griswold gear. Now, who remembers the squirrel? The, I have the squirrel. He's somewhere. He's somewhere in a box, but I actually have a squirrel, stuffed squirrel, that I safety pinned to the back of that shirt. Because if you know Christmas Vacation, you know why. But couldn't find the squirrel, and so here I am. So I get started on these red ribbons. They need some trimming at the end. And the theme is plaid and red bows. I knew even when like my original plan, my original plan was the red bow concept. I wanted everything to be kind of red, white, and brown. So you do see the white and brown come through, but I pulled back in the green and the navy, which you know what? I'm actually glad that it turned out that way because I think it looks really pretty. So now I'm showing you guys what the living room looks like. It was a it was a damn mess. Okay, there's there's no other way to say it. It was a damn mess. And I took this time to not only decorate but to clean as well. So I'm just figuring out the pillow situation. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy a couple more clips and I'll be back.
So now I've been adding my red bows, part of my main theme, but then I take a lunch break. I always do this, I don't always try to rush, but I thought I'd actually film it for you guys this time. So I'm just showing you that I gave myself a treat of a ginger ale and I'm having some chili. I made chili yesterday, so I'm just having leftovers, so I heated it up and it was so delicious. And then of course, after my little lunch break, I had to continue and I was just about done anyways at this point. Um, this piece right here, I had to wash, um, which didn't take very long at all. It was still obviously the same day. It's because Loki touches it the most and it just needed a good wash. Um, so then I have my gorgeous thrifted blanket. And this is like just honestly the star of the show. Alright guys, I'm done decorating the living room. Here is the entryway, but it has its own video, so go check it out. The first space is this kitchen nook area. For those of you that are very familiar with this space, um, you probably remembered a whole pie safe back here, but it's officially gone now, and I kept this piece that was on top of it, so it's pretty bare-ish for me, but I do like kind of like the clean look as well. Um, so here's the table. I wanted to keep it super simple. I'm actually not sure if this setup is going to stay. Um, I feel like it is. It just kind of makes sense with the way I did the living room to keep it this simple with the red ribbon themes, which you're gonna see throughout the house. So I had to throw that up and that's pretty much it for the kitchen nook. Then we have the living room with the tree and considering this wasn't what i envisioned it turned out i think even better than what i had planned here is the main tree this is a brand new tree this year it's actually the biggest tree i've ever had i think this is eight and a half feet navy green red and then what is new this year though are the little red ribbons um, definitely go check out my Christmas playlist. I will link it down below and you guys can watch how I decorated the last house. I love the last house. I loved how I decorated it. So definitely go check it out. There's a whole candy cane theme in the media room. I change out the movie posters. It's so fun. For the living space, I'm even more obsessed with how this turned out. I can't believe how cozy this looks and compared to last year, um, not only was last year's couch completely different, but it was a different living room. Um, I actually really love how this living room turned out. The one thing I struggled with was where do I place this tree? Clearly you can see that it's going here, but originally I planned for the tree to go there. The problem with this setup is that these chairs that I have are actually called a chair and a half because they're oversized. And there was just no good setup to keep them both in here. So in the end, I actually really like this as well because if I would have put it there, it would have blocked a lot of light that I actually do need to come in. So everything really just kind of like worked out for the best. Um, all right, so then you guys saw that I added my plaids. So pretty, I love how I have these on the arms. Um, so yeah, it just putting one back there, I wouldn't have been able to do the same thing there. So I wanted them to kind of match. So looks really pretty. I feel like it looks super cozy. These pillow covers are from Amazon, by the way, they'll be linked down below. And then these red pillow covers are also Amazon, but this is not, this is from Tuesday morning that I bought this year. So Tuesday morning, Tuesday morning, but these are Amazon pillow covers. I'll link those. They are so soft, you guys, and velvety. I have to have soft pillows. Um, I've done the whole pillowcase where they're rough and it's, it's not fun when you're trying to lounge. And then this one is really interesting because I actually have one in my bedroom and it was for my bedroom. I used to put two of them. But the way that I did it this year in this house, I only needed one. So this little extra guy has been hanging out in a closet somewhere. And I thought, you know what? Let me bring out this green because I knew I was going to bring out this beautiful quilt. 
So I really think that this little green pillow, it looks black on camera, but it's like a velvety forest green. Um, I just thought that it would work so well. And this quilt is thrifted. So as much as I wish that I could link this for you, I can't. I thrifted it here in Florida. It is my favorite little find. I'm obsessed with it. And I think that it, I think that it gives this whole space everything that it needed. It's, it's the star player in my mind. It just makes the house feel cozy and Christmassy. Um, and then you guys know how I am. I have to balance everything out. So I have the little wooden trees there. And these wooden trees are also in the entryway. So when you kind of walk through the house, everything feels cohesive. Back here, I added those little stars. They have the plaid. So they're super cute. Now, if you're wondering about this guy, I have a whole plan. This is actually a real branch from my tree that I need to trim anyways. Um, I think that I have a whole plan to get rid of all of those little leaves and then keep the branches. And then I was going to do this whole DIY to it, which I'm still going to do. I just need to make a trip to Hobby Lobby. Um, and you'll end up seeing this hopefully like in the house tour if I get to Hobby Lobby in time. But once I kind of fix the branch, I'm also thinking about adding some of the red little ribbons. Now I kind of ran out. So I have to make another trip to Hobby Lobby, get more red ribbon, put some more up here. But I'm thinking of adding like a few little red ribbons here. And there's the red ribbon again. I put them around the little candles, which were really cute. I didn't do that last year, but again, the red bow thing is kind of like the theme, I guess you could say. So I pulled out these, which were in my staircase last year. And then you can see the garland matches, the ornaments all match. And then I pulled out the red stockings. I don't have a fireplace inside this house. Um, so this is just gonna act as the stocking place, I guess, if you will. And you can see here, there are those wooden trees again. So just trying to make sure everything kind of cohesively matches. Here's Clark. He's about to, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, why does nobody talk about the fact that Clark gets this bonus, but the poor guy has to take the entire bonus and just like repair the, the house from the shambles that's created? Um, all right. So moving on, what you did not see on camera was actually this space right here. I actually still have like some ribbon and specialty ornaments that I will be putting on the tree later. Something that I just kind of do with Micah. So I'll be doing that off camera. It's just like our special little ornaments, but I really didn't have a plan for this space, to be honest. I didn't even think about it when I was shopping for this. So I just kind of threw up little random bits. So I've got the little deer here. I have another deer. His body's in the position of kind of like lying down. So I'm thinking I could put him right there in that corner. And then these beautiful little faux green presents. There's the red bow. Um, those are from Hobby Lobby. But here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I'm going to get some pictures, get them printed, and do like a Christmas insert in those. And that's it for the living room. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you love the setup. And I'm very, I'm very pleased with how it all turned out. It feels so cozy. I love how clean the couches feel too. So whenever I decorate, I also kind of like clean in the process. I do like a seasonal cleaning. It's kind of like a two in one. You know, if I'm going to be here kind of working on the space, it's kind of like a good way to do that like quarterly cleanup, I guess you could say. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. I'm not sure if it's going to be the kitchen or the dining room, but I'll see you guys there.